Hi, Venetia here. And today I'm going to do a reading with my photographs. I use these like I would a tarot card, oracle card, or reading crystals. It just kind of makes it easier for spirit to connect to me through these photos. I still am seeing things kind of in my mind's eye and doing what I would do in a normal reading. But let's get started. I'm going to pick three cards at random and see what we have. One. Two and three. So what I'm seeing right off the bat with this first card, we've got tulips. Not just plain old tulips, but two-tone tulips. So we've got red and yellow. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, and a fifth one kind of hidden right here. And that's where my eye is drawn is to that fifth one. This tulip photo was taken at night. So we're in a period of darkness. When I see the number five, I think of that plateau on the top. You know, it's right in the middle there. It's and that's where our year's been. We started out strong, going up, up, kind of a little loopy, up, up, bam. We've all hit this plateau, whether we're working overtime or not working at all. We're in this stuck time period. By seeing four prominent, four is the number of balance, of, you know, the four elements is really what comes to mind with that, practicing the four elements, the four directions. So you can really do anything you want with this time. You can go in any direction. The red is passion. What are you passionate about? The yellow is joy. What brings you joy? With the four of them, don't let that little hidden five decide what you're going to do. Right now is the time to do what you're passionate about. Fulfill your joy. That's what this photo means to me. The second photo, we have a praying mantis sitting patiently on what seems to be a weed. Although what we think of as a weed has some pretty helpful benefits. This is um, considered like a honeysuckle weed. It's actually one of the few things monarchs will eat other than milkweed. So I know with this particular plant, I saw a lot of monarchs on it last year. Now, the mantis, of course, is waiting patiently, hopefully not for a monarch. They're a little big for this little native species. But he is waiting patiently to catch something walking by at night. And again, with this nighttime background, but here we're seeing the real pretty purples, the greens. Green is a sign of growth. Purple, divine, energy, um, third eye chakra, the crown, all that area is purple. And what praying mantis is saying, be patient if you want you know, to get really what you want. Stillness, patience, you know, think about things before you absolutely jump into it. And even things around you that don't seem useful can actually be very useful to someone. Is there something you've thought about making, but you don't think there'd be an audience for it? Maybe there is. And if it's something you enjoy, something you're passionate about, Someone else is going to be too. So what's something you've put off because you really didn't think it would be useful? Now's the time for it to be useful. But just be patient. Make decisions wisely. You know, don't jump to the first thing. Think about it. Meditate about it. Stillness is your friend. And this final one, we have a red zinnia borders with orange. We've got pink zinnias in the back, lots of green, lots of white. This is a garden in full bloom. And that's what's ahead of us. You know, if we pay attention, listen to our passion, listen to our joy, look at all these colors this brings in. The pink, love, healing, healing. I'm getting healing very strong. The red, the passion, the orange, 
courage. This is what it will bring you into full bloom. Become what it is you were meant to be. That's what this card is telling me. Now's the time to prepare, to get ready, because good things are coming. Right now we just need to be still. Let's stay home. Let's take precautions. Wear masks. You know, do the things we need to do. Wash our hands all the time. I'm not kidding on that. But, and, you know, be nice to other people. So, doing all these things and pursuing your passion, what gives you joy, will bring a full, beautiful garden, you know, with that bit of joy sprouting in the middle. And that's what I see coming, you know, that it's not always going to be stay home. It's a short time to, you know, flatten that curve, but it's also a time to learn, to experience, to grow, to feed yourself. Think about what you're eating, like the praying mantis. Don't just sit there eating junk food. Eat salads, vegetables, good stuff that are healthy for you, vitamins, taking care of yourself and taking care of your immune system because it's all going to be worth it. You'll see the rewards. It may take some time, but they'll be there. And that's what I have for you today. If you like my video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and I will see you next time.